Let's do some searching on Seaside.com. When you open the cruise search page, you'll see that you have six different options for searching. But let's go to a power search. Let's say you're looking for a place and a warm destination for your next sales meeting. And your programs operate usually at the end of the winter. So we're going to do a search in the Caribbean for March. We're going to look towards the end of March. We'll put in the calendar a two-week window towards the end of March. As I mentioned, you're looking for somewhere warm. So we're going to do our search in the Caribbean and the Bahamas. Your programs operate for approximately five nights. And usually, when you operate your programs, your group stays at hotels in the 3.5 star Hilton Wyndham Doubletree level. And occasionally, you like to explore what's available at a slightly higher star level. And your group of 200 needs at least 100 cabins. Let's do a search. Our search results show us that 64 cruises match the criteria of the last two weeks in March. Sailing from Miami, Florida, we have 16 cruises that match my criteria. Let's have a look at the Celebrity Century. I can see from this page that it's visiting Ocho Rios, Grand Cayman, and sailing from Miami. So I'm interested in comparing this ship to a few others that have shown up on my search. Now we have the Liberty of the Seas, also sailing from Miami on the 21st of March with a slightly different itinerary. And this one is a seven-night cruise. I'm interested in the, celeb in the Liberty of the Seas as well, so I'd like to compare it and have a look at this one. And now we have another five-night option on the Norwegian Dawn, heading to Grand Cayman and Cozumel for Miami. I'd like to compare this one, too, and see what's different. And here we have another five-night option on Carnival Cruise Lines. Let's have a look. Okay, so now we're going to compare those four options and see how they line up. Now look at our comparison chart. Here we have the four ships I selected side by side. The Celebrity Century, the Liberty of the Seas, Norwegian Cruise Lines Dawn, and the Carnival Destiny. They all depart from Miami as per my request. They're all ranging in star levels from four to four and a half. Here we have our itinerary maps we can compare here. We have a breakdown of categories of cabins, nationality of crew, ship speed, and all kinds of other details for my comparison chart. So I've made my decision, and now I'd like to request a quote from the cruise line. In order to do this, I'll need to send them a request for proposal. Step one is to save the itineraries that I'm interested in getting a quote on. So I hit save for later and a little box opens up and says select program and when I open this box I can see here are three programs I've already started work on but this is a new program. This is the winner circle program in 2010. So I'm going to name my program and that sailing from the Celebrity Century has now been saved for that program to be used in my request for a quote from the cruise line. But I have a few more that I'd like to get a quote on. So let's go back to my search and I'm interested in the Norwegian Dawn. I'm clicking save for later. Here's my winner's circle. I'm saving this to the winner's circle request for the RFP in my account. And I'm going to do one more request on the Liberty of the Seas. Save for later. Select Program Winner Circle and Submit.
Now it's time to request a proposal from the cruise line. Seasite will score your request for proposal on the basis of completeness. So the more complete your RFP is, the better your quotes will be, and quicker too, because cruise lines respond first to the highest scored RFPs. So, here we go. First, it's going to ask whether or not I plan to select from a range of departure dates or select from my saved programs and sailings. I'm going to pick that. Now, I open up the window and select the winner's circle. And here's where all of the ships I'd saved during my search can be accessed and attached to my RFP. There are my three ships. It's asking whether I have a group or a charter, and it is a group. And I'm going to ask for five suites, 90 balcony cabins, and five ocean view rooms for a total of 200 persons. Now it wants to know, am I flexible with my room block? Well, no, not really. I really needed to be close to what I'm requesting. And yes, I have a little flexibility with my departure date. I can go one week earlier if that would be a better rate or more availability. One week earlier is OK. Doesn't matter if it's on the weekends. Now it's asking me for my name of my company or organization. My company name is Morning Vitamins. The industry that I'm in, Consumer Products. All of our attendees are coming from the USA. And yes, we've traveled before. Last year, 0308, we had 100 rooms, and we stayed at the MGM in Las Vegas. Scrolling down, it's asking if we'd ever cruised before. The answer is no. This will be our first cruise experience. The type of program or event? This is a recognition and appreciation. It's also a sales meeting, but this is the closest one incentive to what we'll be accomplishing. The program's name is the Winner's Circle 2010. Here it's asking us for an approximate budget per person. And yes, we do need private function rooms, and we need to be able to have 180 people in our function rooms. And we also want to make sure there's a room for a private reception for our entire group. We have a total of 12 hours in private functions, and we do not need any breakout rooms. In addition to cruising, are you also considering hotels and resorts? Not at this time. We have our heart set on a cruise. We'll be announcing our program in January of 2010. Actually, just at the same time as our decision is made. So it's imperative that we get our rate back quickly. Anything else we want to know? Nope, except must have rate back quickly. Do we need any cruise support services? Not at this time. Now, I can either save and finish this later, or I can go to the final step. So, how did you hear about Seasight? Well, I heard about Seasight from a meetings industry publication. Here's my name. Everything is pre-populated. Here's my title. Here's my organization type of company and organization. As I mentioned, I am a meeting planner for a group that does consumer products. All of the items in red are mandatory and I am ready to go. Here's where I can view and manage all of the RFPs, requests for proposals, that I've sent to cruise lines. 
When a cruise line responds back with a quote, I'll receive an email so that I can go in and check out what they've sent and select my ship with confidence. Once I've selected my ship, I can request a contract from my cruise advisors and one will be sent within 48 hours from the cruise line. Thanks for cruising with us through Seaside.com. We look forward to helping you launch your best event ever.